Hi, this is Mr. West. Today we have a special request video. This is from Fran Rodriguez. He needs help with a CUDA worksheet tutorial, um, a CUDA worksheet on solving rational equations, number 15, 18, and 20. We're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. This is gonna be a part three for most of you. So let's go ahead and get right to it. So we have uh, an equation here, it's rational because there's ratios, fractions right there and there. And the best way to take care of this is to multiply by the factors, the sorry, the terms in the bottom as a product. So what I mean by that is you're gonna multiply both sides by n plus eight and n plus one. The reason why we do this is it eliminates those denominators and it makes it way easier to handle when we're done, okay? So let's go ahead and, and multiply that just to show you again, we're multiplying by both denominators uh, as a product. So we're gonna multiply, and I'm gonna show the multiplication with green. I'm gonna multiply this whole thing to that term, to that term, and to that term on both sides of the equal sign. Let's start with the left side right here. As we multiply n plus five over n plus eight, uh, by, and I'm just gonna like copy this so you can we can do this quick. So copy. This is Notability, great program. Wish I could be sponsored by them. That's my dream. All right, so we have n plus eight times n plus one. This is on the left side. Okay, I'm gonna simplify it because you probably have seen the other video. But essentially, what happens is we cross off the n plus eight because that's in the denominator. And this is in the numerator, okay? So what's left is that n plus one, that's gonna get multiplied in the top. But I'm gonna do that next, okay? I'm not gonna do that right away. On this side, uh, let's do this in green. So I have one, and I need to multiply this by the same thing too. So I'm gonna multiply this, because that's, you know, we're multiplying it by each term. And then lastly, I have plus six over n plus one. That also gets multiplied. Man, the copy paste feature came in handy. Okay, now, so this one can't cancel, this middle one, one times. It's just gonna stay as that. But this one, we're gonna have some canceling, and that's the whole purpose, why we chose that uh, to multiply, that, that particular factor. So that crosses off, and now we're gonna simplify this a little bit. What's left, I'm gonna use red. We have n plus five times n plus one, okay? And this side, we're gonna have n plus eight times n plus one. Okay, that's what happens when you multiply that by one. And then plus, we're gonna have six times n plus eight. Okay, and that's it. Everything else got uh, eliminated. Okay, so now it's kind of a tedious task, but we're gonna foil everything. And I'll show that in this light blue color. So we're gonna foil everything, just as a reminder, we're, that's what we're doing. I'll do it for the first first one for you, plus one n. I'm multiplying the first terms, last terms outside. You can loif it, foil, it's all the same thing. Essentially what we're doing is we're distributing. So plus five, okay, that's my first one. And then I'm gonna do the other ones quick. So it's gonna be n squared plus nine n plus eight. That's that one, simplified, quick. And this one's gonna be six n plus 48. Okay, so that's what we got going on there. I'm just gonna double check, make sure everything looks pretty good. Yes, it does, okay. Now I'm looking for like terms. So um, I like to do this with a different color and I will do this. So here we're gonna combine, sorry, I need to move this all up. Okay, I'm gonna move everything up, I'm gonna zoom out. And I would try to use as much paper as possible with this because it can take up a lot of space. And the more space you take up, the more organized you're gonna be, okay? Less chance for mistakes. I used to cram, when I was in school, everything into a small space, and I made a lot of mistakes that way. Don't, don't do that. So we have n squared. I'm just gonna combine these. So we get 15n, and then I'll combine these terms, and that would be 56. So now I'm gonna try to get everything over to one side. And as I do that, I'm gonna subtract n squared, and that's gonna cancel my n squared. So those are gonna go away. I'm gonna subtract 6n, Okay, so that gives me um, 9n on the right side. I'm coming back to the left side in a second. I'm gonna subtract five. Okay, so I'm kind of combining some steps. I hope you can keep up. If not, let me know, please, and I'll, I'll try to simplify it. And now we have this last part, uh, which is kind of uh, annoying, but we're gonna have 9n plus 51, and we're gonna factor out maybe a nine from there. And then inside here, we have n plus something, because, oh no, we're just a two-step equation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna factor. So I'm gonna subtract 51 actually. I could have left it over here. So we have 9n equals negative 51, and then we just divide by nine, okay? And that's gonna be our answer. N equals negative 51. We do have to check for extraneous roots. So our answer can't be negative one or negative eight, and it's not. So we're fine with n being negative 51 
over 9. Okay, so that's our first answer. That was 15. Let's move on to 18. This one looks to be a little bit more simple. So we're going to do here is we are going to multiply everything by the two terms in the bottom. That's a plus 3. I need to put that in parentheses and then a plus 2. What happens when we do that? Uh, we're going to have some canceling. So in the top, we're going to have a minus 2. And then a plus 2, it canceled. The a plus 3 canceled there. Okay, then we have minus the whole thing because nothing cancels here and it's just multiplied by 1, which stays the same. And then in this one, we just have 3 and then it's going to be a plus 3 because it canceled with the a plus 2 here. Okay, so I just wanted to show that that's why that one's there. Now we're going to do some distribution, etc. So we're going to have a squared minus 4. That's difference of squares there. Um, yep, so then we have minus and this is going to be Okay, I'm going to put this in parentheses because there's that minus out in front. Be careful with that. So that's plus 5a plus 6, and that's equal to 3a plus 9. Okay, um, final step, let me move this up, is we're going to combine like terms and try to solve. So I need to distribute this negative sign first, actually, x squared. I'll do that right here just so I can save myself some space. So that's minus, minus, minus. All three of those are going to be minuses because that minus was out in front. Okay, so now uh, let's see here. I'm going to have this a squared is going to cancel with that one. And then we're going to have negative 5a minus 10 on the left side, 3a plus 9 on the right side. I'm going to add the 5a to both sides. So we get 8a, and then I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides, equals negative 19. Okay, I divide by 8, divide by 8. Negative 19 over 8 is going to be equal to A. And I need to check for extraneous roots. Uh, A can't equal negative 3. A can't equal uh, negative 2 because those answers would make it undefined. We're good there. That's not the answer. So we're set. Check, check. We're good. Okay, last one. 20. Let's do this fast. There's a trick here. It looks like there's three things we need to multiply. We need to multiply by n plus 5, n squared, and n cubed plus 5, n squared. That's a trick. It's a trap, I should say, because technically we can factor this into these two terms. These two terms are kind of a give giveaway of what it wants you to do. We can factor out an n squared here, and what does it become? It becomes n plus 5, okay? So then you can see, okay, really it's just two factors we need to multiply, just this guy and just this guy multiplied together, okay? So essentially this. We are going to multiply both sides by n squared times n plus 5. So let me show that here. Let's do it in pink. So I multiply both sides by, move him out in front, okay? And then I'm going to distribute again to all three terms. So what happens? Well, we already know that this is equivalent, so it's just going to equal 5 on the left side. It cancels out completely. So this whole thing cancels out with that whole thing. On the uh, middle side, or right side, not middle side, we're going to have the n plus 5 cancel out, so we're going to be left with 4 times n squared. And then we're going to have the n squared cancel out, so we're going to have 1 times n plus 5. This one's actually fairly simple. Next up, we need to distribute. So we have 5 equals 4n squared plus n, 1 times n, and then plus 5. And that I, sh I should have just left it as that. <laughs> I don't know why I waited. Whatever. So now I need to subtract 5 from both sides. I have 0 equals 4n squared plus n. So now I need to do some factoring here, actually, to solve. So I'm going to factor out in n, and I get 4n plus 1. So now I need to set both of these equal to 0. This is kind of probably the hardest step. The kind of eliminating the denominators was the easy part, but this might be a little tougher. So what two numbers will make this parenthesis go to 0 and also this go to 0? Well, n would have to be equal to 0, and then... This would also need to be equal to 0, so 4n plus 1 needs to equal to 0. We would get 4n equals negative 1 divided by 4. That's a 4, trust me. And we have n equals negative 1 fourth. So these are our two answers, 0 and negative 1 fourth. Check that it's not, doesn't make the denominator go to 0, and it does. Okay, so 0 will make this go to undefined, so we can't include the 0. So our only answer here is, in fact, negative one four. So this is a good one because it makes you check. So yeah, that's the that's all there is. That was 15, 18, and 20 as requested by Fran Rodriguez. Thank you so much for watching and commenting. And if you want your own video, make sure to leave a comment on any topic that you need. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on Wes Explains Best.